Good morning guys and yes day 32 of the national lockdown uh, a lot of frustrations different motivations uh, I know mine's very much fishing and getting out there just being out there not even catching fish at this stage it would just be great to feel the sand on your feet smell that salt and uh, you, I'm sure all anglers especially saltwater anglers will agree with me you start feeling unhealthy if you don't get to the water so, <laughs> but that's us and that's where we are as a country and we'll stand together with that and hope we can uh, get back to normal as soon as possible. Remember, they did make it a rule that if you go out to wear masks and even if we're lucky enough in one of the levels to go out fishing, recreational wise, then the mask will also be compulsory guys. That's I think one of the best preventions, washing your hands of course, but the mask is one of the the best methods of preventing this from spreading and obviously keeping your distance now we had a request we've had a couple of requests and we're trying to work through them we will get to them guys remember our channel is continuous and weekly but uh, on the muscle cracker the brusher uh, the silver stem brush white muscle cracker it's it's getting closer to their time now uh, where we'll see quite a few of them caught on the natal coast a um, bit late into the year on the Southern Cape, Eastern Cape and even Western Cape areas They start uh, coming through quite a bit now We had a request asking just for a white uh, white muscle cracker trace So I'm going to run you through it today and what I'm going to use this is the only hook I use I like using and it depends on your bait guys the size of your hook depends on your bait so yeah in uh, Natal we're fishing a little bit smaller baits May it be a Monster Man Crab, may it be rare, whatever bait you're going to use, all right, when you're targeting them a ghost crab. I use a fiver, I just like the size, because the, the size of the mussel crackers we catch is not like they do in the Eastern Cape, which is 10 plus kilos. Um, here we get them 6, 4 to, 4 to 7 kilos, and if you get bigger than that, it's the odd one, and uh, you're quite fortunate on that. So in this area, the fiver hoodlum is more than sufficient and you can bully that fish with a hoodlum there's no chance these hooks will bend open on them and that's why i use them okay so that's the fiber hoodlum uh, in the mustad range and then for my my hook snoot look i like you have to sometimes really pull them because they go straight for the rocks when you hook them you'll sometimes just feel that that inquiry that doom, doom, bump or something you'll feel your sinker lift and it goes down with a speed uh, very exhilarating bite sometimes and they hit you flat in your own and you just have to hold it because it goes straight for the reef to cut you off all right so you want enough strength on your hook snoot to do that and your leader will not be less than this you can even go more on the leader um, don't have to your hook snoot um, but I won't go less on the leader and this is 0.75 some guys will fish thicker. It depends where you fish as well. All right, if you're going to fish in a very foul section where you wash into the mussels and that's where they feed or whatever the reason might be, but it's very foul, then you'll go thicker on this. But in your general scattered reef, just off points, we will get them in the towel, the 0.75 will suffice. It's more than sufficient. All right, guys, and with that, very simple. Still use figure of eight knot. Just to tie my hook. Pull that nice and tight after you lubricated it with a bit of saliva. And then cut my tag end off. Alright, and that between 40 and 50 centimeters. I'm gonna cut it at 55 to make the knot. But I'm happy with that length, not much longer than that. And then the combi swivels, very, I love these swivels. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of three-way swivels. They've never been because they weren't available in power swivels. Now what I like about power swivels is the fact that much smaller swivel for the same strength, if not more, than your normal swivels. And it really depends up to you as a person, but I like the smaller profile. And for the muscle cracker, I use the slightly bigger one. This is the size four by five all right and then I'm going to time the other end now how they work as you can see here the big eye goes to your leader 
that the bottom of the the bigger swivel goes to your hook and then this little rotating swivel is for your sinker line and again I'll use a figure of eight okay there we go and then for my sinker line 0.5 5 <coughs> uh, Diameter I use a lot on um, the saltwater sign and on fishing for lighter edibles and sinker lines and 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 all right again just a figure of eight knot to the 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 sinker swivel okay and then for these rock traces what I do I'll have it slightly longer if not exact same length. And that's where I'm going to cut it, but I want to make a loop with it. All right. <coughs> I haven't even used my side cut. All right. Now that loop, I want just slightly longer than sinker trace. You keep the loop. And then just twice. Twice like that also forms a figure of eight. Yeah. Now the reason I do that, okay, is this is now nice and neat to roll up, put in a little bag and in your tackle box. You can keep quite a few of them. And to put a sink on, you don't have to tie the sinker. It's very quick. You just slip it on and it gives you the double line. Um, now to explain that, on the rocks, you see this piece of wire. If you make a knot on it, by reading it back over the knot, it can just hit that knot and it's off. It breaks off so many times. So by switching to this double loop, it doesn't damage or hit off nearly as easy as what it does with a straight knot onto it. So that's why I fish the loop. Then very important in your sinker line, I always just make one surgeon's knot like that. And you pull it nice and tight. That creates a weak spot in your sinker line. Now already it's 0.55, it's much thinner than your hook snoot, so it should break off easy. This is just going to help it to break off even easier, that you don't stand a chance of losing your fish while fighting it. That's the main purpose of that. Right guys, and there you have it. Very simple, straightforward, standard muscle cracker, the white muscle cracker trace. And like I said, your hook size, you'll uh, depending on your bait and where you fish, in the Eastern Cape, you'll go to your Ato. Um, even some guys even fish bigger, but it depends on the bait you use as well. But an 8 is a nice size for the cape where you and a tell the fiver is more than sufficient. But thank you all for watching guys and make sure that if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to get notified every time we upload a video. Also like this video, that really helps us a lot. But thank you for watching and we can't wait to get fishing again. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get all the catches from you guys again that you send in. But thank you for all the comments and all the likes, all the subscriptions and all the notification enablements that you guys have done. We appreciate it. See you soon.